Hey guys, had a few people in some previous videos comment on my header choice and whether or not I recommend them. So this is a short video just to go over that. Uh, what I went with was the Speed Engineering uh, LS Swap Shorty headers and they're the stainless headers and what I've noticed is on their website, I don't think they have the same headers that I use. They have ones with V-band clamps on the collectors and mine don't have that. They're just the three bolt clamp ones. They seem to be doing okay on that side of it. Uh, one thing I do recommend, uh, because I was having an exhaust leak here just recently and uh, you need to keep checking the bolts on the block because those tend to back off. Uh, I did the typical tighten them up and then run them till they got up to temperature, you know, the motor got up to temperature and then uh, checked it again, tighten it up again. And I guess that wasn't enough because over time, I guess a few thousand miles, they back back off. So I just re rechecked those and, and they were loose uh, on a few of them. So tighten those back up. But uh, other than that part of it, uh, the actual header install, it wasn't too bad. The driver's side, I can show you here. Driver's side, I did have to take a hammer to one of the primaries. And you can see, I don't know, if you can actually see it that well, but here is steering shaft right here. And there is the header. And right there, there's probably, it's less than a quarter inch gap. And I had to just uh, put a little dent in the header to be able to clear that. But that's the only thing that I needed to do on the driver's side and the passenger side it was a little bit different story didn't have to dent any of the the header or anything to get it to work it's pretty close to the heater box with the passenger side header what i had to do is i had to bend that lip that connects the uh the floorboard to the firewall because the collector was facing right towards it so that was not gonna not gonna allow it to work so I bent that lip up and then the collector pipe that they gave you that bolts up to the collector it's about four inches five inches long something like that I had to cut it do a pie cut and weld it back in at an angle because there was no way it was gonna work that way it was gonna run right into the floor so that's all I had to do there I mean again I had a welder so it wasn't a big deal for me but if you don't have a welder it could be an issue uh, other than that the quality of the header you can see here starting to discolor some get brown you can't really see it with the, the flashlight but uh yeah it's obviously you know not the best quality but they were 160 bucks, and that's really the main reason why I went with them. So, uh, definitely on a budget. If I wasn't on a budget, of course, I would have went with some long tubes that were uh, way more expensive, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So, these work. Overall, I'm not disappointed in them for the price point, especially. So, I do recommend them if you have a welder. Otherwise, you're probably gonna be in a little bit of trouble with them but $160 for some stainless headers they're not too bad you know I did this video because uh, people commented asking me questions there was multiple questions uh, about the headers so if you guys have anything else you want to know you know I can make a short video if there's enough people that uh, inquire about it but other than that that's about it all right, have a good day, guys.